Hey, what's going on guys? It's that time again for another review of Converge figures. This is gonna Converge set 20. So we got 10 here in a box. So we're gonna have doubles of some of these. There's six different figures in this box. We got the Ale Strike Gundam, the Dual Gundam, the Second V, the Crossbone XO, the Mass Production Gun Cannon, and the Rick Dom Zwei. So you got some really cool ones in this set, and I'm wondering just which ones we're gonna have doubles of. That's always the question. Sometimes it's easy to predict, easy to know which ones are gonna be doubled because they're like variants in there, but this one doesn't really have necessarily any variants in here. So I guess we'll just find out. All right, well, there we go. So we got two Doms, two gun cannons, two second Vs, and just one crossbone and one dual Gundam and two ale strikes. So there you go. I guess the dual Gundam and the crossbone, I'm not really sure why those are the ones that they decided to only give us one each of those. I guess I maybe would have assumed that there would have only been one of the crossbone because it's got all that silver paint on there. I would have thought maybe that's maybe more expensive or something, but there you go. Only one dual Gundam, which I'm not too torn up about because the dual Gundam, I love the dual Gundam with the assault shroud without the Assault Shroud, it's a little bit boring to be honest, so. As usual guys, we're gonna start off by just going with through these in numerical order. So that means that first up here is the Ale Strike Gundam, looking very cool. So you got the beam rifle, the shield, the Ale Strike backpack on there of course, and they're just on the back of the box. Once again, it shows the lineup. So if you were to buy this at a store and you just saw this one individually, at least you can see what other ones are available in this particular set in set 20. So let's just go ahead and get it popped open here. Inside, we've got our piece of Bandai soda flavored chewing gum. And then all of our parts here. So we've got the base, the parts for the backpack, backpack, the shield, the main Gundam here. And in our second bag, you've got other rifle, wing parts, the beam saber handles for the backpack, and then our V-fin here. So some assembly required, let me get it all put together and let's see how it looks. All right, here it is, and yeah, looking very nice. The details on this, just the overall design of it, you got that clear yellow part for the eyes, the V-fins looking nice and sharp there, the backpack really cool, and uh, I could definitely see the perfect strike coming out as something like in the Converge EX line. As sometime in the future, I wouldn't be surprised uh, by that to have the full, full version of the Perfect Strike, just on a side note. But this one, uh, you know, as always, lots of detail on there that could definitely benefit from, you know, some panel lining on there, finishing up all the little details and all the white sections there, panel lining those in, painting in some other little details like these little vents on the side of the backpack there that are supposed to be yellow. So painting some little bits like that would be really nice on this, but just straight out of the box looking very cool. And I wonder if the backpack is going to be compatible with the Duel. So let's just go ahead and take a look at that. It's up next. This is 237 in the line, the Dual Gundam. I'm assuming the backpack should be compatible, but let's just go ahead and find out. Got your gum. And just one bag here containing the main Gundam there, its backpack. It's beam saber handles and beam saber effect parts, the V fin and the stand. So aside from the backpack being compatible, I wonder if the beam sabers are gonna be compatible. Probably not though, because those are round and the handle on the beam rifle for the strike is square, so probably not gonna fit. But let's test the get this put together anyway and then we'll test out the backpack. Aha, uh -huh. well actually, now that it's put together, I'm finding out that the beam saber handles are actually molded together with the hands. These handles are meant to go in the backpack, but you know, if they're in the hands, then they wouldn't be in the backpack. It doesn't have four beam sabers, so you could put those in there. Uh, but what we, oh, what I didn't notice here on the back of the box is on the back of the box there, it's showing you having the shield and the beam rifle from the strike. So basically what it's doing is not uh, swapping the actual weapons, but swapping the entire hands basically is what you can do. So you can take the hand and beam rifle, all that together here from the strike, plug that here onto the dual Gundam. And the shield is also compatible. So you could take that here, give it the shield, have it be something more like that. If you prefer, then I guess uh, he would need to have one of his beam rifle, uh, beam sabers stored here. So like that, and then our ale strike, we'll give the beam saber hand, we took off the duel. So you could do like that, which is pretty cool, but then you shouldn't have both beam saber handles up there on the backpack, and you can't really take that off without also taking off, uh, it's like the, the mount, like the base where the beam saber handle plugs into the backpack, you'd have to take that off that whole section, so you'd be missing that little bit, so I mean, uh, not exactly right, but I mean, still, it's still pretty cool. Now, as for the backpack, I think it's not gonna work. The connection did look slightly different. So just here around the duel, I haven't shown you the back of the duel yet, so sorry about that. There you go, that's how the, its backpack looks, which actually is really cool. I do like the backpack here. 
just for the dual Gundam like that. But if we take a look here, it doesn't look like that's gonna fit onto there. And yeah, not really. So that's kind of weird. And unfortunately, they didn't make the, the, the backpacks to be able to be swapped out. But still, it is still looking pretty cool. And the compatibility of the weapons is pretty nice as well too. So I do like that. So up next is the second V. It's a really cool design and it was a great HG kit, even though it was unfortunately P Bandai, but I love this design. So I think this one's gonna be very cool. Just love the equipment here on the second V. Very cool design. All right, let's get it popped open here. And we've got all of that stuff, our gum as well. And in here we've got the Gundam, the cannon, the backpack parts, the beam rifle with the grenade launcher attachment on there, the base. And then over here, some more backpack equipment, the kind of shield bits there for that, and the V-fin. And here it is. Very, very cool. I mean, just look at that backpack equipment. Definitely going to def benefit from some detail painting and some pen line around in, on that because, you know, there's a lot of white there. But once that's done, it's going to look very cool. Uh, mine, unfortunately, here on the face, you can see there's a little bit of scuff, but just a little touch of white paint on that. We'll just cover that up. No big deal, but definitely could benefit from some panel lighting. Other than that, it does look really nice. I think I got my head pushed down all the way on there. There we go. Anyway, yeah, I love the design. And just the uh, the design of the Victory Gundam's legs here in this uh, scale, or in this, uh, I guess, in these proportions, uh, they just look really funny and cool. So definitely a really nice one. Love the second V. This is a really cool version of it. So up next, number 239 is the Crossbone Gundam XO, was also a premium Bandai kit in HD, I believe. I know I built and reviewed the Master Grade Verka, which was a P Bandai kit. I believe there was a P Bandai HG version as well, but it's got that cool shotgun weapon, which folds in half to become a big beam saber. So it looks like we're gonna have both options included in here, the beam saber version and the shotgun version, so that's really cool. It's gonna, uh, gonna be all in silver as well, which is gonna look really nice. And there's been a, a bunch of different uh, Converge Crossbone Gundams, so it's gonna look really nice to add to the kind of Crossbone Converge collection. So we got the Gundam there, the backpack, and here is probably, I guess that's the beam effect part inside there. Uh, protected very nicely. You got the V fin, the folded uh, the handle version of the, of the uh, shotgun there, and the base. All right, here it is. And once again, I didn't read the fine print because underneath there it says that the shotgun weapon is actually taken from number 230 in line, the Phantom Gundam, which was in a previous set, so you had to take that. So this one only comes with the Beam Saber version of that. Still looks very cool though, really nice. The backpack, the arms are a little bit bent on that, so I'll have to just dip those in some hot water, bend those back. Uh, so that those are straight, but otherwise it does look very cool. The face is a little bit odd. You can see the part there like kind of under the eyes. It's going to be kind of hard to see because it's this dark, clear green. But the part underneath the eyes there is, needs to be painted in the correct color. The face mask is removable, so you should be able to swap that out for like the open face version of this as well too, which I believe was also in a different set. So you've got some option parts if, you, if you're collecting these. But just straight out of the box for just this one in particular does look really nice. All that silver on there looks really cool. You got that dark red as well too. Once again, just some panel lining around on these silver bits will help to just enhance the look of that. You just get some black panel line wash in there and it's gonna be looking very cool. But all right, up next, you gotta eat your vegetables too here with the mass-produced gun cannon. Not really one of my favorite designs, but you know, it's been a kind of a theme in all these Converge sets, usually the one that I'm kind of least excited about. I end up really liking a lot, so it could be the case with this one as well too. Let's go ahead and crack it open. This is an interesting design, at least. Let's go ahead see how it's gonna look gonna have the main body of the backpack the uh, beam spray gun there you're gonna have the main body the backpack the rifle the part for the back of the head and then the base all right there you go and I mean can't say that I love it but it does look really cool the design in this uh, scale with these proportions does look cool the big chunky massive uh, bits of red armor look really nice the backpack looks really cool of course you got that uh, metallic painted part up there for the top of the cannons. The head looks nice and the clear visor does look really nice on there as well too. So I mean once it's painted up you can even customize it by painting it in some different colors or something as well too to kind of mix it up a little bit. But for a design that I don't really generally like all that much, it, it's pretty cool. It's, it's mainly just kind of the head I think is what I don't really like about this design. So maybe I wonder if like swapping the head could make me like this design a lot more. I wonder. Hmm. But let's go ahead and take a look at then the last one in this line, number 
241, the Rick Dom Zue here. So a little bit different version of the Rick Dom. It looks like we're probably gonna have just the big bazooka and the uh, heat rod there on its back. And that's gonna be probably about it. Now they used to do secret versions in these sets. There could have been then like a Shars color version or something like that as a secret version, but I don't think that they do secret versions anymore, unfortunately. Uh, so look inside here, we've got the mobile suit, the bazooka, uh, some backpack parts there, I believe, as well. Oh yes, the fuel tanks there for the backpack. There's the heat rod, not uh, lit up, by the way, so you might want to paint that, I guess, if you wanted to. And then the base. All right, there you go. First thing that came to mind is that mono eye looks so small there. It looks a bit strange how small that mono eye is inside the kind of face part there. But the rest of it, I mean, looks very cool, especially the legs. Really cool design on that. This. Uh, Heat rod, you wouldn't be able to hold that in the hand or anything because the kind of connection piece is molded together all with that. One thing you'd have to cut that off kind of and modify that a little bit to be able to hold this in any hand or anything. So some modification would be required, but the backpack does look really nice on there. Just the general details and some nice details up underneath there as well, which are not really going to be easy to see. All these are detailed fully underneath the feet as well too. So in case you guys wanted to do some customizing, having these in like some sort of flying pose or something like that, the details underneath the feet also really nice just not ever seen when they're on the base but bazooka looks cool really nice looking dom here so really like that one as well too it's just that mono eye is so small it looks really weird so there you have it guys that's a wrap on set 20 as always let me know which ones were your favorites or least favorites which ones did looked really cool to you are you also collecting these you know do you have a bunch of them just let me know your thoughts on the gundam converge stuff in general i really enjoy collecting these they're very cool i've got a load of them and uh, people ask sometimes to see my converge collection i unfortunately don't actually have them displayed anywhere because i don't have like a real proper place to display them it's something that i'm gonna do sometime in the future i'll have to build like this big huge shelf to like actually properly display all of these is something that I'm going to need to set up someday. But for now, anyway, I just love having these and collecting them. So they're really cool little figures and don't really take a whole lot of work to make them look even better. They just, you know, spray some gloss coat on there, do some panel linings, a few decals, a little detail painting, do your matte coat or whatever you want to do to finish it off. And they look a lot better as you guys see me do a couple times and I'll definitely be doing some more in the future. But as for now, guys, thank you so much for watching as always. And if you guys want to check out USA Gundam store, the link will be down in the video description. You can use my coupon code there, Zacharelius10 to save 10% off anything there on the site. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more Converge figure figures for you guys there in the US if we can convince Bandai Bluefin to bring in some more of those into the US anyway. But for now, thank you guys all so much for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.